It's November 21st, 1966, and the exciting young heavyweight contender, Joe Fraser, takes on hard-hitting Eddie Machen. That's Joe Fraser being introduced to a Los Angeles crowd. There's Eddie Machen. He's very popular here in California. Both fighters look at each other nervously as they get the instructions from the referee. That's Joe Fraser in green trunks, moving out with his customary aggressive style. Fraser has been nicknamed Smoking Joe as a result of his relentless punching. Joe has won all 12 of his professional fights, 11 by knockouts. Eddie Machen, in the white trunks, is a veteran with over 30 knockouts to his credit. But one of Eddie's greatest moments in the ring was a very close loss, by decision, to the ponderous punching Sonny Liston, when Sonny was at his crushing best. Many observers thought Eddie actually won that fight. There's not much feeling out between these two fighters. They're both ripping those punches in there. Fraser always attempts to corner his man, is always putting on enormous pressure, punching, bobbing, weaving. This fight is scheduled for 12 rounds, and Fraser has been made a three to one favorite. Ripping punches by Joe Fraser. Machen attempts to stay in close, trying to neutralize Fraser's punching power. Joe sends in those ripping body shots. Crushing left by Joe Fraser. And down goes Eddie Machen at the end of round one. Eddie's on the outside ring apron. He's courageously getting to his feet. He says he's all right. And here comes Joe. And there's the bell ending round one. Joe comes out for round two. He wants to go home early. Now Fraser's throwing bombs in there. Machen is fighting back. Ripping, crushing punches by Joe Fraser. Smoking Joe began his professional career in 1965, one year ago right after winning the heavyweight championship of the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Joe is 22 years old, and everyone predicts that nothing human can stop this rampaging young heavyweight from becoming the world heavyweight champion. Fraser won't give Machen any room. Joe stays on top of Eddie. Eddie Machen.
Kitchen in white trunks taking a battering here in round two. Eddie throws a flurry of punches trying to keep Fraser off of him. But Joe comes right back. Ripping, crushing punches by Joe Fraser. Once again, Machen's back is on the ropes. That's the wrong place to be when you're fighting Joe Fraser. taking a terrible beating here in round two. In rounds three through five, Fraser pursued Machen all over the ring, never stopping the barrage of punches. Here in round six, Fraser is looking for that knockout. In his last fight just one month ago, Fraser took a hard-fought 10-round decision from Oscar Ringo Bonavina. Joe was sent to the canvas twice in the second round by Oscar, but came storming back to win a unanimous verdict. It was the first time Fraser didn't end one of his pro fights earlier than it was scheduled. Fraser. Joe trying to get in that one big bomb to end it. In round eight, it's still Fraser putting on that constant pressure. Eddie has taken some of the best punches smoking Joe can dish out, and he's hanging in there. The courageous Machen is always looking to get in that one big upset punch to turn the tide. Joe never lets up, never gives Eddie any room to breathe. Machen looks very tired in there. He's taken a pounding for eight rough rounds. Machen, flat-footed, just hanging on. Joe seems to be able to do just anything he wants to here in round eight. Those are ripping punches by Joe Fraser. A 
murderous hook by Joe Frazier, and Machen came back with a hard left, almost sending Frazier to the canvas. That's the punch Eddie's been looking for. Machen is trying to follow it up. saw Machen continue to weaken under the Fraser onslaught. It's round 10, the final round, and the question is whether Eddie can last it out. The referee steps in and stops the fight, awarding a 10th round knockout win to smoking Joe Fraser, stampeding his way to the heavyweight championship.